Nothing has changed in North Korea in terms of human rights conditions. That's according to U.S. Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in North Korea, Marzuki Darusman, during his visit to Seoul this week. Mr. Darusman has been working on collecting evidence on the abysmal human rights situation in North Korea and calling for improvement for the past five years as the U.N. Special Rapporteur. I sat down with Mr. Darusman during his last official mission to Seoul this week. I asked if he could lay out for us the specific violations of the international law Pyongyang is or has committed. Uh, the Commission of Inquiry found that these uh, violations that have been alleged to have been uh, committed by the government, uh, so these are state-induced and, and directed, uh, sponsored uh, violations. Uh, violations qualify as crimes against humanity, and therefore they are in, in total breach of international law. Based on reasonable grounds, we believe that, uh, in fact, these uh, violations have taken place and continue to take place. Let us go and uh, see together, uh, allow the United Nations to visit. Well, so based on these findings and these evidence, you called for the referral of uh, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to the International Criminal Court. Is that feasible? Now, of course, uh, it's known that any referral to the ICC would have to have the endorsement of the Security Council, which is where it is at the moment. The report of the Commission of Inquiry has been accepted by the Security Council as a permanent agenda item of the Council uh, to be debated uh, hopefully uh, this coming month. It would continue to be a significant uh, fact uh, of, of political import that uh, North Korea is aware that this has reached the highest political body in, in the United Nations and that in itself is symbolic of the resolve of the international community to seek ways uh, for uh, an accountability. Well, one of the uh, recurring uh, themes or recurring points when we talk about human rights violations in North Korea seem to be the issue of separate or divided families. Is there anything a practical, a practical solution to that? Simply, simple. Uh, make these reunions uh, much more frequent open up to greater numbers. Uh, not only is it a, a humanitarian issue, but it is also a human right in terms of uh, the family being the basic unit of a society. Family reunions are uh, a right in and of itself. But can that be enforced? They cannot be enforced. It, it needs to be it needs to be realized by uh, both parties, by the uh, North Koreans, that if so many members are prevented from meeting their kin, the burden will be on the North Koreans. This has to be given priority. Let's talk about the protection of refugees. So those leaving North Korea, crossing the border into South Korea, um, you know, with a desire to leave that regime. What kind of efforts can be made by the international community to protect them? Well, the international law is very clear on this. First of all, uh, any citizen of, of any country uh, has the right to uh, leave and enter uh, his own country, uh, which is not the case with uh, North Korea. That is the source of the, the issue. Uh, everything else is secondary. But if we don't resolve uh, that right, and uh, restore that right to the people of uh, North Korea, then all the other problems then arise. Uh, then the neighboring countries, depending on their relations with North Korea, may feel obliged to return these citizens, as if the citizens are owed by the state, uh, as if the citizens are the possession of the state. International law is also very clear that Anyone that flees uh, a country uh, because of repression, because of their rights being denied, will need to be protected by every state and to be allowed to choose to go to a third country of their choice. Now, this is the issue, uh, and that will have to be addressed. Uh, 
uh, by the international community by uh, uh, voicing concern that uh, if these people are returned, they will suffer a horrible fate. A country that uh, apprehends uh, North Korean citizens that uh, have been able to leave the country, in fact to flee the country, will be in breach of international law if they return these citizens against their will.